system shown in figure is having a disk which is connected to one end and it rolls on a sliding bar which is connected to a spring. We want to find the equivalent mass uh, and stiffness of the whole system. So let's look at this. We have a disk. This disk is having radius R and moment of inertia I. It is fixed at one end. Uh, the material properties are J, G and L. Now this is rolling on to a bar without slipping. That is the condition. And this bar is connected to a spring which is fixed at one end. Spring is having stiffness K. The mass of this sliding bar is uh, M and uh, X is the translational motion. Okay, so what we want to find is the equivalent mass and equivalent stiffness of this system. So we are going to use the energy method uh, for this. The angle, angular displacement is given by theta. So the relationship between x and theta without slipping is x equals to r theta. So theta you can write as equals to x divided by r. The kinetic energy T is then equals to translational as well as rotational. So for translational you have got half m v square so x dot square plus rotational is half i theta dot square. So again you can write theta in terms of x very simply half m x dot square plus half i theta is equals to x dot by r square. So again in terms of uh, if i is written in terms of the mass then what you will end up with is half m plus 1 by r square times x dot square sorry i by r square by into x dot square so this is the kinetic energy of the system and this portion over here, you can say that this is the equivalent mass of our system. I can be written in terms of mass, provided all the conditions are true. Uh, but we will first find the potential energy of our system. So for the potential energy, you have got V is the potential energy. V is equals to half Kx square that is the energy stored in the spring plus the energy of the disk stored in the disk that is equal to half kt theta square okay so kt is the torsional stiffness that is equal to j g over l so then v is equals to half kx square plus half jg over l and theta can be represented by x by r again so this comes out to be half times k plus jg over l r square 
uh, times x square so this is your potential energy and this portion over here you can say that this is the equivalent stiffness so these are the two solutions one is meq and the second is keq these are the put, these are the equivalent mass and stiffness of our system that's the end of the problem mm -hmm.